Okay, we're going to do a side-by-side -side test of APRS receive on the Kenwood THD74 on the left and the Yezu FT2DR on the right. Nothing fancy, just meat and potatoes. I am not a YouTube or Instagram influencer. We're just looking for the data here. The, each radio has the Nagoya NA701 antenna, so I'm controlling for antenna differences in the stock antenna. They've got the same one on there. Um, each one is set up on APRS only in the channel, GPS off, beacon transmit off. Um, I've cleared the station list. The idea here is that I'm going to fire them up, let them run for an hour, receiving, come back and compare the receive station list in each. So let's just go ahead and get it started. We'll turn on the D74, turn on the FT2, and you can see that we're only on APRS there. GPS is off. Same thing here, only on APRS, GPS is off. Station lists are clean. We will come back in 60 minutes and see what's in them. Okay, each radio has been receiving APRS for over an hour now, probably about an hour and a half. Let's uh, look. Oh, they both just received a packet there. Let's compare the station lists in each radio and see what we've got. Um, I can tell you right now that Kenwood is the clear winner on this one. So if we look at the... Um, FT, FT2, let me see if I can focus in on the screen, and we look at the station list, you can see there are three stations displayed there, okay, during that whole time. And then if we pop over here to the D74 and we take a look at the station list, there are 14 stations displayed. That's kind of an amazing difference. So look, this last one in there, WA0GEH10. Let's see if that was received on the... That one wasn't. If it was received, it wasn't decoded, at least, on the FT2. So an awful lot of stations that the D74 received and decoded on APRS were not received and or decoded on the FT2. Same antenna, so I think the... Yeah, the clear winner on APRS received is going to be the Kenwood here.